Welcome back, John. It's always great to see you. You look it, great, bud. It's nice to be here. Yeah. It's nice to be here. Thanks. Yeah, uh, it, is, it, is, it is Nana week. We're talking about Nanas and, and highlighting, spotlighting uh, Congratulations. grandmas. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> do, you ha do, do you have any memories of, of your grandma? You're presuming they're dead. Is she, is she alive? I'm so sorry. No, she is dead. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked. I'm so it's sorry. Just, it's just, it's just the idea that you weren't leaning in so hard with any memories. Just, <laughs> it was, I thought what it meant. It I was a surprisingly <laughs> high risk strategy, but you, you stuck the landing. She died. Okay. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. A, a while ago, and I do, I do remember. Yeah. She was. Uh, she was great. She was from Liverpool, which is where all my family is from, and. Uh, uh, she loved comedy, and uh, right towards the end, she got into a bit of a scuffle with, uh, in her old people's home. No. Yeah, she, walk, she walked around in her nighty a lot, all day, which, you know, that's her right. Uh, do, what do you call, nighty, does that make sense, nighty? Yeah. Does that sound too Dickensian? To... No, a nighty, yeah. Sure. Yeah, she walked around in a nighty, and uh, there was a, a woman who lived opposite her who took exception to this, so she kind of came at her one day, like, waggling a walking stick. She grabbed the stick, Pulled it towards her, and then kind of, honestly, kind of Will Smith an open hand slap. <laughs> yeah. The crazy, the crazy thing is, Lupita Nyong'o was there going, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but she did. She did. And it, there, was, there, was, there was definitely a conversation about uh, <laughs> what wow, do what we do you here? What do we do in an old age? Yeah. To which we, our, our thought was, you're allowed one. <laughs> yeah. But she was, she was, there was a, she loved the fact that I did comedy and there was a, a famous comedian in Liverpool called Ken Dodd, who you won't have heard of, he was a very odd man, uh, who, he, he, there's no way to explain this in a concise way. Yeah. He, he used feather dusters for his act. That's all. Google it or don't. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That is part of but, his act, he had two feathers. Yeah, that's right. He used them to tell jokes. Anyway, the point is, he was famously a tinker. Like he, he used to sell pots and pans as a young man, and he would talk about it a lot on stage. And he was he was a tinker where my nan grew up, and she said, "Oh, you're a comedian now, like Dotty. That's great. You know what? He knocked on my door one day and said, Bob, you know, if you buy this pan, you'll never need to buy another one.' And she said, "You know what?" And she reached under her bed. I said, I never did. And she brought out a pan that really should have been thrown away about 55 years previously. <laughs> she lead paints just flaking off it. <laughs> Ken Dodd poisoned her and my family. Oh, oh my God. That's the whole point of the story, right. yeah. He's dead as well. No, th no sorry, yeah. Uh, just as long as we're listing dead British yes. people tonight. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I want to ask, how are the uh, how are the cute kids? How are they're they? All right. Yeah, they, they're good. They're great. Uh, yeah. What six and three? Six and three now. Yeah, the three-year-old has got really into the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it either, but he heard Under the Bridge once, and has become obsessed with it. It's the only thing he wants to be played. It's the only thing he wants to be sung to him at night. He, and Under the Bridge in particular. Under the bridge. Under the bridge. You haven't heard Under the Bridge until you've heard a three-year-old gaze sorrowfully into the mid-distance and said, sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> feel like my only friend with the W. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And can you imagine a three-year-old? I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. <laughs> what do you know about pain? <laughs> At three years old, I'll tell you about pain. Like you did what day? What day is such a bad memory for you? <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> he loves it. I was seeing him last night. He woke up the night. He, he, he was just say, seeing I don't want to feel. And he got to do it. Basically, uh, under the bridge is his baby shark. Oh, I love that kid. <laughs> uh, Last week tonight, you're back into the studio, bud. Yeah, uh, and we're back. Now, congrats, yeah. Thank uh, you. and it's uh, the show's fantastic as always. Uh, but now you're back in the studio, yes. and our pal Drew Barrymore is in your is your neighbor. Yes, I met her. I've, I, I met her when I was having one of my first nasal swabs early ah. early on in the pandemic. <laughs> you never I, forget your first. I did. <laughs> it was no, back when kids don't understand. They used to go real. <laughs> And it's not this kind of nose tickle you're having now. No, yeah. <laughs> anyway, she was a, I, she, no, she had a mask and a hat on. Yeah. And she started yelling at me. 
And uh, it, it, was, took, it took me like a few seconds until I realized who she was. And it was, uh, her show was just starting. And she was saying... Um, you didn't know it was Drew. I, did, I gradually realized it was her. And then she was saying, I love late night comedy. And she, like, she said she'd been on the Johnny Carson show. And it was all happening so fast. Like, how on earth were you on the Johnny Carson show? She looked at me, she said, I was in <laughs> E.T. <laughs> and, <laughs> if I had known as a child yeah. that Elliot's sister would one day come out of that screen and yell at me, I was in <laughs> E.T., <laughs> I'd have been... Yeah. I've looked forward to every day between then and, and that now. point. Yeah, yeah. I lo it was the first film I ever saw. In, I loved E.T. It was amazing. I was carried. That my, the visceral memory I have is being carried, screaming tears, as the credits were rolling because I couldn't believe he left. That E.T. left and that Elliot didn't go with him. That was the thing that really broke my heart. I couldn't. You thought Elliot fathom. was going to go back? Um, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? What's he staying for? His family? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, An alien fun. you just made a key connection with <laughs> is leaving, invites you to come, and you stay? Like, if we don't... Even at that age, I understood the fundamental law of rom-coms, if you can call E.T. that, which I'm not sure you can. No. Is you get on the plane at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you're running, oh, yes, you run out to the thing. Go yeah. to him. Go to Play him, it. yeah. Got him. So, yeah, I thought it was awful. That little rainbow felt sarcastic as it takes off. No, they, I, they, I hope there's a director's cut somewhere where Elliot, Elliot tells his family, says, peace. Yeah, <laughs> and it goes, yeah. goes to space with E.T. Yeah, yeah. uh, you know what I was going to say to you, by the way? Last time uh, we, we, you were on the show and I talked to you, I said, I was talking about, I don't know how I got into it, about meeting a dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my, that is, honestly, you know, during the pandemic... You, you, it was hard to sometimes get the laughter that you wanted and needed at that moment. That <laughs> sentence that you stumbled over gave me a, something from deep, deep down. <laughs> he I said, made you laugh. He was passing... He just, we were just having conversation, and yeah. he said, like it was nothing, oh, I once met a famous dog backstage at a Kevin Hart concert. <laughs> and I remember thinking, stop talking now <laughs> and unpack each ingredient that you've presented there. Don't... Skim on like it's nothing yeah. when what you've presented is a vignette to me. Yeah, you met a dog you at met backstage. You met a famous, a famous, famous dog, dog. Too, not a dog. A famous, a famous dog. Backstage at a backstage, Kevin... You did a meet and greet with a famous dog <laughs> backstage at a Kevin Hart concert. All of those ingredients separately are good. Together, that is a chopped episode that should make the final. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it did. It really happened, and I... Uh, we tracked down footage of, of this. This is real. Here I am meeting a dog named uh, Jif Palm backstage at a Kevin Hart show. We'll figure it out, right? We'll hang it out, right? I'll call you tomorrow. That's good. Look at that. Dude. Wow, huh? Wow. I, it was... <laughs> what, one of the things in that room is looking at the other thinking, what are you doing here? And it's, it's not you, Jimmy. <laughs> John Oliver, everybody, last week tonight with John Oliver airs Sundays at 11 p.m. on HBO. Hey, hey.